Hey Walter, sorry I missed you. Probably up late working on something new and exciting, huh? Anyway, just thought I'd check in on you. Give me a call back, I have some new enterprises I'd like to discuss with you. Take care. Hey everybody, welcome to the Future of Magic book series Final Blows Part 2, Midnight Release. Thousands of fans gather behind me awaiting the anticipating release of the final film in the book series by acclaimed author Walter Richards. One must wonder what the author will go from here. Congratulations on the final film of your hit book series. It has been an honor to work with you as the Future of Magic series delighted children and people of all ages around the world. Does this really have to be the end though? Picture this if you will, but we at Imaginative Adventures are willing to make an offer for you for creating some new entries within the series. Perhaps a short of longer epilogue talking about Anna's children. Call me or email me back and we can prepare to talk figures. Best of luck, Roger Baxter. CEO of Imaginative Adventures Incorporated. Characters don't normally come to life. So why are you here? To, to tell you that what you're thinking of doing is a big mistake. What? The new book installment? You saw 
So what? It's a popular series. I can write another. The story is over, Walter. There's nowhere else for me to go. I could... I could come up with something. Okay. Give me some ideas. And don't even think about attempting Roger's idea of my children. Oh, don't look so shocked. I'm inside your head. What if the Order of Dark Magic came back from the grave? <laughs> this isn't the Wizards of the Living Dead. <sighs> okay. Uh, what if you were framed for the death of someone, but it was actually someone from the Order who didn't die during the war? With the respect I gained by the end of the series, do you really think that people will believe I killed someone? Yeah, you're right. Wait, I got it. You're fishing, Walter. None of these ideas are fresh or go with the canon of the original world you created. It just doesn't make sense. Alright, well, do you have any bright ideas? No, I don't. See, it's not as easy as it looks. That's exactly my point. The story ended perfectly. It needs to stay that way. Walter, I know you miss her. What did you just say? I know you miss her. How long has it been, Walter? How long did it take to create me in her image? A matter of months. Maybe less. So I just didn't want to let her go. I cared so much about her. <laughs> she meant the world to me. Still does. I read the books to honor her memory. And now it's all over. I know, I know. I'm just afraid of what will happen if I stop. We were so young when she died. I just want to hold on to her forever. It sounds like she had your whole heart. It's not something you're going to lose. The books may end, but she will always be with you wherever you go. Don't write another book just to keep me as a vessel for her memory. You don't need to. She's been with you all along. Thank you. So now what do I do about the book? Well, seeing as I'm already a part of your subconscious, I believe that's entirely up to you. Roger. Hey, it's Walter. I'm fine. Listen. I believe creating another installment is a mistake. The story's done, Roger. No, I'm not changing my mind on this. However, I do have another idea. 